NBA young boy called me. He said, Ack. And I didn't know what the conversation is. the first time I talked to him since he got out of jail. FaceTime me. I said, oh, shit, young boy. I haven't talked to you in a minute. I talked to him in jail, allegedly. But he called me. So I said, yo, what's up? Thought he was going to talk about music. He said, act, I'm going to be honest with you. Allegedly. This is all allegedly. He said, act, I heard what you said about this guy. It's hurtful. Let me get deeper. To McConan or anyone else, everyone should know, I have the least of anyone I know, hatred or whatever, for people or that are off the LGBTQ community. I was a little bit confused when the angle of calling someone gay was put on to me. I want to remind y'all where I was born. I was born in Spanish Town, Jamaica. I just want to remind y'all of that. I just want to remind y'all of that. I was born in Spanish Town, Jamaica. That's where I was born. That's where I came out of my mama's womb. I lived in Jamaica for about 40% of my life at this point. I'm not saying this to be funny. I'm not saying this to be cute. I'm saying this because it's real. I understand and I'm assimilated to what American culture is. But it puts me in a very interesting place when an individual who I wasn't taking aim at before, he jumped out to say, fuck academics. Except he was calling me slurs. He said, Ag, you're this, you're that. You're gay, you're a body boy. And I'm like, it was triggering. I apologize that I am human. I thought about it for many, many hours. I said, you see, the power of the tongue is very strong. You can't hurt me by calling me things that don't apply to me. But I know how to touch your soul. The last stream we went on, I believe, did that. Not proud of it, but it did that. But also, you have to understand me. I was under the impression that anything goes. I saw in the aftermath of what I said. McConan is no longer on social media, Twitter, Instagram, or otherwise. And I didn't even really process that till young boy called me. And he said, and, uh, and you want me to be honest? I'm going to be very honest. Young boy called me and he said, yo, act, you know I love you. I said, Damn, it's the first time I'm talking to you since you've been afraid. You know I love you. And he said, Ack. I can't tell you what to do. I'm telling you verbatim what the conversation was. I can't tell you what to do. But I believe that McConan is hurt based on the things you said. And I said, what? Really? And there was a, a second that I was thinking, wait, let me tell him what transpired to lead us up to here because I was never mentioning McConan before. 
McConan mentioned me and I responded. But young boy said, act, I'm gonna be honest with you. And I'm this is how real I'm going to be. He wants to fix the mic. Let me turn it up. <clears throat> My bad. Young boy said, Ack. When I was getting into the game, McConan's music inspired me a lot. He said, Ack, I can't tell you what to do. But I don't think this should be something that happens. And I agree with young boy. I don't know where the full influence is. He, he told me very briefly that, you know, before he got into music, there was some influence in McCona. I'm t this is all facts. Y'all think it's no, I don't be lying. And honestly, because of, because of the conversation with young boy, and I'm going to be honest with you, like it made it feel like I was Yo, yo, chat, y'all know me. Like, I trade words with everybody. If somebody want to talk shit about me, I can talk shit about them. But I'm going to be honest. When young boy called me, it felt like I was bullying McConan. I'm going to be honest. And by the way, McConan, if you see this, young boy didn't call me, pressing me, he didn't whatever. He fucks with you. That's the takeaway. He fucks with you. And he said, I, you don't, he said, if you feel that strongly about it, you know, I love you. You don't have to listen to me. But I, I, I respect him. And, and, and I I don't want this to be going too crazy. And I really told young boy, I, I told him verbatim, I said, young boy, this ain't about shit. He randomly mentioned some shit about me. And that's I just responded. And he's like, yo, bro, just to let you know, I was influenced by him. He's cool. I fuck with him. Whatever. And... We came to the agreement. I said, yo, listen. And this is, again, I'm saying this because I want to be fully transparent. Y'all know how to just don't lie. McConan, this is me issuing an apology to you. And the reason I'm issuing an apology to you is because I wasn't doing this to hopefully affect your mental health affect other situations you might be dealing with i believe that because i felt you were going at me you were able to go back and forth i'm not a bully people like me and also young boy we don't fuck with bullies that's not the situation so for mcconan I'm not trying to put you in a box. I thought this was a, just a back and forth. Clearly, it's affected more than that. Okay. Um, also, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Just a hundred, a hundred percent. Even without Young Boy's call, once I seen, because I didn't know this before Young Boy called me. McConan deleted his Instagram. He deleted his his, his Twitter. Hey. I don't want nobody doing anything that could be hurtful to themselves or others with me or what I've said about them being the main thing. So I just want to say to that individual and for that situation, McConan, it's not that serious. Let me just say this now. McConan. Chat, I don't care what, what none of y'all say. I'm, I'm just being honest. Because, hey, listen, as much as I rock out, chat, you know how situations are. You want him to, you want him to fucking tie a fucking situation around my neck saying I did it, bro? Like, nah, that's not, bro, every, every time I've ever responded to somebody, I be thinking they with the shit just like I'm with the shit. Niggas say the worst things about me, nigga. Like, niggas call me a chipmunk. Niggas call me gay. Niggas say everything in a book about me. Niggas have never in the history of life checked on my mental health. You get what I mean? Nobody ever be like, yo, damn, 
Yo, yo, you go on Twitter right now. I guarantee act fat is is way more popular than most of the shit. You ain't never hear me just sit here and be like, oh my God, I don't know if I want to make it. Bro, I deal with this shit. But I know that's me, nigga. Not everybody's me. That's all I'm trying to tell y'all niggas. Nigga, I deal with everything niggas give me. You know why? Nigga, no matter what happens, y'all walk out there, I got five big cars. I live in a mansion. I'm like, y'all, I'm cool with it. You feel me? This is the life I chose. I don't, I'm not trying to, again, I'm not saying people, and also I'm not also judging people that they got to be mentally like me. Bruh, nobody gives a fuck about what academics actually feels. Keep it on it. If I came on here one day crying, y'all niggas would be like, yo, this nigga done. Keep it on it, bro. But this is all I'm trying to say. I do have to care about other people's feelings. Because not everybody's like me. I'm like a robot, nigga. I was born for this shit. I don't got kids. I don't got none of that shit. Everything that matters to me is work. For some of these people, like, this shit really affects them. I ain't trying to have nobody be doing weird shit or whatever the case is. I don't want nobody blaming on me, the and third. Bruh, McConan or anybody else, listen, I know... I always tell y'all, like, pause. When y'all are getting at me, I could say the worst things about y'all. Whether it's Freddie Gibbs, this and third. Bro, I got to I gotta wear all that on my shoulder. Y'all call me whatever. I got to wear it. I'm not trying to ask for sympathy. But also, 